you are not who you think you are. The person you see in the mirror, the thoughts you think, the emotions you feel, these are only a small part of your reality. Beyond all that is a part of you that transcends the physical form and holds the secrets of your whole destiny. This is your higher self, an entity that has been shrouded in layers of mystery for years. But today, we remove the veils of mystery. Join us on this journey as we uncover the shocking facts about our higher self and discover who we truly are. But be warned, the way you think about the universe and about yourself is about to be completely transformed. There's a common misconception about the higher self. Individuals tend to think it's a distant aspect of our being, an entity separate from us, but that's not the case. In reality, your higher self is not separate from you. In fact, it is you. Constantly thinking that the higher self is some separate entity actually becomes a major hurdle in your spiritual development journey, which is why it is important to remember that your higher self is a part within you that resides in a state of pure consciousness, a part that follows the laws of spirituality and helps you advance in your spiritual journey. These spiritual laws of hermetic philosophy govern your whole existence, and if you want to find out more about them, The Kibalion is a book that perfectly covers it all. Make sure to click the link in the video description to get your free copy of the book. These laws of spirituality are deeply followed by your higher self, which is always accessible to you. In fact, if you think you have to transcend or leave your current state to connect with your higher self, that's a misconception. The journey to understanding your higher self isn't about the external world, but rather it is about peeling away the layers of conditioning beliefs and embracing your true and pure consciousness. Another shocking truth about your higher self is the fact that it is completely aware of your whole life. Yes, a part within you knows your soul's whole plan, and it has known that way before you were ever incarnated. The higher self knows the lessons you are here to learn, the challenges you are meant to face, and the people you are destined to meet. Your life is not random or just mere fate. It is actually your higher self that is the architect of your life and all its experiences, the good moments and the challenges. Individuals tend to think that life is out of their control, which is why challenges can make them lose hope, because they think they can't fix anything. But when you embrace the fact that your higher self is constantly orchestrating your experiences, it brings a sense of comfort. Embracing the higher self makes you remember that there is a part within you that wants the best for you. This helps you make sense of any difficult moments as well. It makes you realize that everything happens for a reason and your higher self is always guiding you to your best self, even if the reason for events isn't apparent to you right at the moment. As humans, we have moral concepts of good and evil or right and wrong in the physical realm. These moral concepts might be a part of religious or social constructs, but that's all they are, concepts. Your higher self transcends all these moral concepts and it actually operates from a place of universal understanding. In this universal realm, there are no dualities like right or wrong. From the perspective of the higher self, every single experience is a valuable one for the growth and enlightenment of your soul. Here's the truth. Our human experience is always going to have a dualistic nature. There are going to be good moments and there are going to be bad moments. And your higher self knows that which is why it doesn't praise or condemn. It simply observes all experiences and learns from them. Embracing the higher self means embracing this concept as well. Doing so can free you from societal constructs and make you feel liberated, but at the same time, it can also be unsettling. It's so easy to label yourself or another individual as good or evil, but with this thinking, 
the way we think about the world and perceive everything around us is completely transformed, which is something that can be difficult to fully embrace. In the words of Jiddu Krishnamurti, intuition is the whisper of the soul. Yes, the higher self resides deep within our soul, and it often communicates with us through subtle forms of intuition, which can manifest as a gut feeling or a feeling of inner knowing. These messages aren't a loud and clear instruction like a huge warning sign in front of you, which is why if you don't pay full attention, these messages can often be overlooked or dismissed. These messages are actually whispers from within you that are gently nudging you in the right direction towards your best reality. As humans, we are conditioned to only rely on logic and reasoning, which means we tend to focus on what's in front of us rather than what's actually best for us, which is why we often tend to ignore our intuitive senses. However, the truth is that your intuition is one of the most powerful tools that can help you connect with your higher self. When you learn to trust, embrace, and act on the subtle signals from your intuition, you can align yourself with the true purpose of your soul and navigate your life with a sense of ease and clarity. In the physical world, we experience life as a chronological sequence of events with a past, present, and future which makes it seem like time is linear. But what if everything we think we know about time was a mere illusion? Well, your higher self actually exists out of any concepts or constraints of time as you know it. In fact, your higher self experiences all possible timelines in a simultaneous manner. This means that your higher self knows every single potential version of your life. In fact, not only your future possibilities, but all your past memories are also readily accessible to the higher self. But by knowing all potential versions of your future, it can guide you towards the timeline and version that best aligns with your spiritual growth and your true purpose. Yes, you have free will to make choices that dictate your life, but there is an intricate balance between your free will and your destiny. In simpler words, you definitely have the power to make your own choices, but at the same time, the higher self knows the outcome of all possible choices that you can make, and it gently steers you in the right direction that will align you with your soul's true purpose. By now, you have probably realized that even though your higher self is a part of you, it still behaves in an entirely different way as compared to your physical, human self. Following this understanding, here's another shocking fact about your higher self. As humans, we tend to see the challenges or hardships of our life as an obstacle in our path or a punishment for any mistakes we may have made in the past. But if we look from the perspective of the higher self, these challenges are not mere hardships, but rather they are a lesson which act as a major catalyst in your growth, both spiritual and personal. In the words of Rumi, the wound is the place where the light enters you. Indeed, your challenges or your wounds are a way for you to improve your overall existence. In fact, the higher self actively places challenges in your path so it can help you learn some essential lessons to make you grow in your spiritual and personal journey. But it's important to remember, these challenges are not just random or a cruel reality. In fact, these challenges are carefully chosen for you individually, and they are designed in a way that can help you get out of your comfort zone and into a life of greater awareness and enlightenment. So remember, whether it's a career setback, a personal crisis, or a bad relationship, this isn't a way of the universe torturing you, but an opportunity from your higher self for growth and transformation. When you face and overcome the challenge, you can align yourself with the higher self and significantly accelerate 
your spiritual journey of awakening. In the words of Deepak Chopra, love is the essence of our being, the spark that sets our souls on fire and the glue that holds the universe together. Indeed, love is a very powerful force and the very essence of our whole existence. And the purest and highest form of love is unconditional love. The power of unconditional love goes above and beyond any human limitations and perceptions and the very source of this unconditional love is within us, in our higher self. Your higher self loves you unconditionally, no matter what your thoughts, actions or beliefs are. The love of your higher self is not based on your successes or your failures. It simply exists within you and for you. However, a sad truth is that many individuals are disconnected from this powerful source of love and they often try to seek it externally rather than looking within. When you tap into the powerful source of love within your higher self, you begin to see not just yourself, but all other individuals around you with a sense of compassion, love, and acceptance. This realization requires you to confront and release any judgmental or egoistic beliefs within you that are unintentionally blocking this love which is why embracing this unconditional love within your higher self can completely transform your life for the better. One of the most shocking yet remarkable truths about your higher self is the fact that it has the ability to manifest any reality you desire. When you connect with the higher self, it allows you to tap into the powerful creative forces of the universe and choose your thoughts, your intentions and your actions in a way that helps you attract the reality that you desire, thus harnessing the law of attraction, which states that like attracts like. That means if you think positive thoughts and perform positive actions, you can manifest your desires. However, the ability to manifest your desires is not just about positive thinking or wishing for your dreams to come true. In fact, it also requires a deep, and strong connection with your higher self, which guides you to manifest experiences in a way that also aligns with the true purpose of your soul. This power can be extremely exciting because you can choose the life you want, but at the same time, it can be pretty scary because the responsibility for your life is in your hands. It is your duty to ensure that your manifestations are aligned with your higher self so the reality you attract can guide you towards your true purpose. The higher self is often interpreted as an individual aspect of our soul. However, a profound yet shocking truth is that our higher self is also connected to a collective consciousness. Everything and everyone in the universe exists in a vast web of interconnectedness. Yes, this means you are connected to every other individual in the universe. Your higher self is not just a personal guide for you, but it is actually also connected to the higher selves of every other individual in the universe, which is what creates the web of interconnectedness within us all, also referred to as the collective consciousness. The collective consciousness of all of humanity is a powerful entity as it offers us shared wisdom experiences and growth. This means that your spiritual journey is not isolated, but rather it is a part of a much larger universal source of humanity. When we understand and embrace this interconnectedness, it can lead to a greater sense of empathy and compassion for others, as well as a greater understanding of our particular role and purpose in the grand universe. Last, but very definitely not the least, probably the most shocking truth about the higher self is the fact that it transcends death. Yes, when humans die, their physical body may decompose and perish, but in the spiritual realm, it is believed that a part of you still continues to exist, which is the higher self. From the perspective of the higher self, death is not an end, but simply a transition to another state of being, 
which is why it continues to exist and carries the wisdom and experiences of your current life into future incarnations. When we understand and embrace the eternal nature of our higher self, it can completely change the way we view death and the afterlife because this understanding suggests that our souls are not mortal, but rather they are on an eternal journey of growth and evolution. Each lifetime is only offering our soul a new experience of learning and broadening its horizons. By realizing that our true essence, our higher self, is eternal, the fear of death diminishes from within us, and we tend to live life with a deeper sense of confidence and peace. In conclusion, the higher self is not a separate part from you, but rather a deeper part of your existence, dwelling within you, and it holds profound truths that are shocking yet liberating. By understanding these truths, we can establish a deeper connection with our true selves and with the collective consciousness, thus living our life with a sense of clarity and purpose. However, to truly embrace these truths, we have to transform the way we think, confront our fears, and put our full trust in our inner self or our intuition. Yes, the journey to discover and embrace your higher self won't be easy, but it is a journey worth taking, for it can completely transform your life and help you manifest your deepest desires. Hopefully, this video helped you. Make sure to leave any feedback or insights in the comments down below.